Hi guys, it's Kristen, or VSG Hard on My Sleeve, and I am coming to you with a second in a series of videos about protein. Uh, my last video was all of the proteins I use regularly, and this one is discussing the topic of why do we care so much about protein? What it, why is it important? What is the big deal? So, um, let me just start by saying I've gone back and reread my nutrition textbook from medical school as well as Chris Powell's um, nutrition book, I think it's called Choose to Lose, and one or two other books that I've been skimming recently, like in the last two to three weeks. So this is all compiled based off of, um, you know, my knowledge and things I've read. I'm not an expert, I'm not a nutritionist, but um, these are things that I find helpful. So. First of all, protein in your body is, it's the building blocks to everything. So, you know, all of your cellular functions and your bone structures, muscle structures, everything needs protein. So when you think about it, just on a basic level, protein is really important to our health. Um, speaking of muscles in general, uh, protein... It, muscles are built of protein, so you know the more muscles you have, the higher your metabolism is. That's a whole other topic for a video. But as we're losing weight, particularly in the weight loss community, we're losing. I'm sorry, the weight loss surgery community, we're losing weight rapidly. So we do not want our body eating away at our muscles. Instead, we want to get rid of all the fat, right? So if you're eating that protein you're replenishing and building up your muscles so that your body will choose to burn the fat instead of the muscles. Um, let's see, sorry, I have notes here, so I just wanna make sure I'm hitting all of the important points. Um, yeah, so moving on, second key point. Um, during digestion, proteins use more energy to be, it takes more energy to break them down than it does the other macronutrients. So by macronutrients, I mean fat, carbs, and proteins. Proteins require the most amount of energy to break down. Why is that important? Because you're using more energy, which is calories, to break them down. Also, they take longer to be broken down. So they're gonna, longer than carbs and fat. So you're gonna feel fuller, much longer, if you eat your protein first. In fact, I believe the number that I've read, it kind of varies, but on average it looks like it's two to three hours that it takes to fully break down proteins during digestion. So if you're eating a really hearty protein rich meal, you're definitely gonna be a lot fuller than you would if you weren't. In addition to that, protein helps boost your metabolism. And I kind of touched on that with the muscles. The more muscles you have, the higher your, um, the faster your metabolism is running. So we've got benefits in all of those areas. Um, let me see what else. I know I'm missing something. Okay, proteins first. If you eat your proteins first, it allows for a slower release of all of the other nutrients that you've digested into your bloodstream. So. If you eat your protein first, followed by, let's say, broccoli, um, and then a small amount of, whatever, wild rice, that protein is going to take longer to digest, which means the nutrients from your broccoli and your grains are going to also take longer to absorb. So you're going to be fuller longer, and everything is going to, I guess in layman's terms, be more useful for a longer period of time in your body for your, for your health. Um, I think that is the basic points I wanted to cover. There's so much more. I mean, there's chapters on protein, but I just wanted to put it out there in a simple way. Um, as a reminder, protein does matter. It is important. We hear about it like, oh, I'm getting this much protein in a day or, um, you know, protein shakes or whatever. And I don't think we ever really stop to talk about why it's really important. So hopefully this is useful and good information for some of you. Sorry, I need a drink. And no, I did not mean to color coordinate my vitamin water zero. It just happened to work out that way with my little fall burgundy going on. Um, 
The only other thing I wanted to mention, something that might be important, in weight loss surgery patients, I know some people become lactose intolerant post-op. Make sure if that's happening to you, you're staying away from whey protein because whey protein is derived from milk. So um, look to other protein sources uh, if you're having that problem. Also, and I, the reason I've got this written down is because for me, I take I use whey protein and a lot of my protein shakes contain whey protein and besides you know lean meats where I'm getting most of my protein I also eat a lot of Greek yogurt and um, something we I haven't heard a lot of people talk about um, I guess it's kind of basic knowledge but if you don't know why Greek yogurt is really really great for weight loss surgery patients as well because of the protein number one and number two because it aids in digestion um, and the reason it does that is, well, I'm not going to go into the, you know, physiological mechanism, but basically um, it pushes things through because there's bacteria in Greek yogurt and it is called, I believe, lacto, lactobacillus acidophilus. Wait, I have it written down. Yeah, lactobacillus acidophilus. So, um, you know, added benefit protein and digestion with Greek yogurt. So anyway, I hope this protein information is helpful. Now you know why it's important. Um, I know it's helped me, and stay tuned for more videos. Let me know if you guys like this stuff. Um, as I'm learning the nutritional information from textbooks and, you know, just weight loss books or whatever, nutritional books, um, and I'm sharing it with, I'm just sharing like the key points with you that I think are interesting and helpful to know. So let me know if you guys like these kinds of videos. If you don't and you think I sound really annoying and nerdy, then let me know and or just don't watch them. I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a nerd alert in the title. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys are doing great and I will talk to you soon.